Welcome back to more World of Outlaws Dirt Racing Local Series Division. We are in the darkness. It's past midnight. And I uh, felt this was appropriate for the mood since it's late at night. So um, we're almost done with Season 4. Uh, we upgrade everything to Level 3 on the engine. Our next big goal is to gain the chassis to Level 3 as well, which is the max in the local division. And that's 46000 for that. So we are... Definitely a little bit past halfway, so we may get close to 40,000 possibly at the end of the season, so we're getting there. And the car is definitely getting a little bit quicker, too. We just have to keep grinding it out. Uh, Limeland's usually good for us, so we'll get into it and see what happens. Well, car seems good. We were able to nail our goal time pretty much every lap, so we should be guaranteed a top five. Well, <laughs> Not top five, but at least a top 15 qualifying run. That's going to be our goal time for sure. It literally right on the mark of 15th. So really can't complain with it. There's, there, It was about what we needed to get out of the car. Of course, Ricky Cox, our championship, uh, championship, our top eight, eighth in points contender starting 12th. So hopefully in the main we can surpass him because um, it's really just the battle between me and Cox at the moment. You can laugh at that as much as you want, but that is his name. So we're starting fourth on the outside, so at least we'll get the preferred lane on the initial start, which is, you know, always good. There, there are certain times when I record, and it, it does get grading of, of the grind. But I have to remember, too, that this is going to be an ongoing, like, 400-part series. So it's only natural that one series is going to take this incredibly long to get everything maxed out. And then after this, it should get a little bit easier with, with off cameraing a lot of stuff. Or at least or at least one season or maybe two to, to have enough. So, I, I mean, I don't know. Well, either, either way, we're fourth, just like where we started. So, uh, pretty uneventful of a heat. Oh, good exit off the last corner, but not quite enough to do anything. But whatever, I'll take fourth. We're in the main, right? Like, okay, we're in the A main, okay. Start exactly where we qualified. Couldn't ask for anything better. Usually, Lima Land goes a lot better than like Kokomo or Grant Park, so I, I feel like we got a shot to do something at least. I just have to get up to the high side right away, though. This car in 14th kind of took my idea. <laughs> Not literally, but like you, you get the idea. Almost contact there. That was almost going to be uh, cataclysmic. But usually, if we qualify top 15, that usually means in the race. That translates to top 10 race pace normally. So that's kind of the pattern. I guess we'll see how it kind of goes. That was an amazing run through the corner, by the way. A lot of wheel contact there, which is my fault, because I am bad. But yeah, we'll just have to just build up those momentum again up on the outside and just. Or we could have death. Get away from it. Okay. Dodge the bullet. That was scary. And now we just have to rack them up, do it again. And now we're on the outside. So, thankfully, we have the AI wreck themselves a lot to benefit our race even more. I don't know where this Cox person is, but they are definitely ahead of me, assumingly. I need to get familiar with that car, because clearly we are running, like, the same race pace as him. Try to get by the 13th place car. Okay, he's 12th, all right. Now no one's running my highlight. Now I can run it the way I want to. Hopefully they don't run it. All right, beautiful. Got the Cox car in front of us. We made contact. I know I'm just a son of a bitch. Banned me from the World of Outlaws game because of that mistake. So I like to try to keep that top 10 quota in check. But that outside line almost seemed to stay. Well, but when we have more depth on the racetrack, that helps too. So we'll take P11 there. Man, they just love to embarrass themselves right in front of me. It's just, I don't know, they're, they're, they're a thing. I, I don't know. This gives us, once again, another chance to finish really good. I mean, it's only a 20-lap race, and they wrecked twice in 10 laps, which is quite embarrassing. But we get a good exit here. All right, P11. Top 10's doable. I think our goal position was top 15 anyway, so we're definitely beating the goal time by a huge margin. That was a slide job, and I have to... Get up to the high lane. None of that worked. It looked cool, but it didn't work. Alright, there we go. Into the top 10, which is perfect. Now I just have to try to 
just set up these passes if we can even get more positions out of this and see what we could do. I have a very bad tendency of just burning out the, the take like the tear offs a lot more than I should. Need to be better at that. But for now, we're just hanging on. That Mr. Hill man. Run the bottom lane, so it's a good opportunity to try to get the spot, but we took the high lane. We kinda of try to do a bit of a diamond off the corner. I know game, I know, just dirt too dirty. Do a bit of a slide job. He's going to probably pass me back down the bottom. But a good battle. Good racing in. Oh, low contact. I know. It's just, uh, just kill me. But I think we'll be able to clear him as long as we just keep this momentum up on the high side a little bit longer. Which is very nice. Didn't think I even had a top 10 car. But the car is competent enough, apparently. And with a couple of cars just exploding, that makes it even better. Or we can literally have them explode right in front of me, and we'll get P7 on, I think, the white flag. So, I mean, it makes it easier. And this, and this Cox person isn't 11th, so we're going to gain good points on him today. What a weird, what a weird Lime Land race. It's been very, very limey. That's, it's just been crazy. Let's keep it on the bottom here. Don't. Want to make contact? I didn't want to make contact. God damn it! That's probably karma for what I did to that other guy. Um, I'm okay with seventh or even eighth. So I probably don't even deserve it because AI died in front of me for that to happen. But I'll try to do something off this corner. But he's using the high lane. Try to get a bit of an exit off. Not quite enough. I'll take an eighth. That's considering where we we're running. I, that's actually way better than I anticipated. And uh, we finish ahead of Cox. So. Gain more points on to try to secure a guaranteed 8th in points. Because that is going to be a, a career best for us in the standings. Take a quick look at the standings just to confirm my joy. And and all that good stuff. So we should in theory have 12 points on him. I feel like he's going to do really good. And uh, Cox is going to do very good in, the, in the, the finale. But yeah, we got 12 points on him. We actually almost can get... No, we're still ninth. I guess Robbie Collins finished. Okay, he got sixth, so. Okay, never mind. We're not going to get eighth. We're going to get maybe ninth in the standings. I was wrong. But good enough payout. Almost 2,000 in merch, so we're definitely racking that up pretty well. And that's going to be definitely over 8,000, which is very nice. So that's going to at least put us over 30,000 in earnings, which makes it even closer to getting the chassis thing unlocked. We even got our sponsor goal, which is an, uh, you know, an added plus. Modern driving, we have to repair the engine. I know I got some comments of people saying, like, I'm using I'm using old parts and they're, like, not going to be performing as best. But ba on, based on the menu, everything's still in excellent condition. Nothing's lowered. And we get the merch bonus. Or the uh, sponsor bonus. And we'll go into last race of prayer review. And there's always, like, a sponsor opportunity with that. And... I don't even think we'll get top 15, so probably top 30 is like the one I can guarantee to get. But, yeah, because once everything is, is under the yellow, then the performance dips. But even if it's worn slightly like the tires and suspension, it still says excellent. It still says 20 out of 20. So I'm going to go off that and not repair every single solitary race as possible. So we'll be left with 31,000, so 16,000 left in the upgrade, so it's going to take at some take us a couple races into Season 5 to actually unlock the chassis. That's what I'm thinking, like, it's going to probably take at least 6 or 7 seasons to fully upgrade everything at this point, because it's getting, it's just, I, I would say getting teased, but each upgrade is going to be, it's going to cost less and less with everything, so... The point is, it's still going to take a good bit. Let's get on to Prairie View and try to end the season by uh, at least getting ninth or maybe 8th potentially points. I guess we'll have to see how Robbie Collins and Rock, R Rocky, <laughs> Ricky Cox do. Easily going to smash the goal time 8.2 at 16th, so almost a P15 qualifying spot, so we could have honestly gone for that and been okay. But, uh, yeah, it's not bad. I don't know where everyone else is. Of course, Ricky Cox just P10. Rob Robbie Collins P8, so... We're, I guess we're just going to choke away, t I guess, ninth in points. We had a potential eighth in the book, and then we're just going to just throw it away because this last race 
it, or I guess these showcase races are just a lot harder. I'm not really seeing a lot of... Usually in, in World of LS22, they would always have people from other regions or like, like regional and national like come into different stuff and like just run really well and just take up spots and prize money. Now it seems like the local people can kind of fight, uh, like fight back a little bit or have more of a shot to run well. I think, unless there there isn't any different ones, I, I don't know. It just it, Clearly the difficulty is a lot different. So I have no idea. We almost got third there for a split second. Trying to get the, the cut on him here to get by him, but it's not going to be enough. No, I can make contact and, you know, embarrass myself more. I almost got third, but we'll take fourth. Advance to the B main. Oh, my God. We're still in this. Ugh, I should... That's going to be annoying. I mean, that should be a pretty easy B main anyways, but did need to be like that. It's just going to it's just going to make it just more tedious. But I don't know. We're up on the outside, so just try to gain these spots as quickly as possible. Good enough for, oh god, we're just gonna fucking go four wide. Oh my sweet Jesus. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Alright, fine. I'll accept I, I'll accept the fact that none of that worked. Except that worked, so alright, I'll take a P4, but the fact we're not even fast enough in a B main makes it very concerning that we're not gonna do anything in the A main. I mean we're making a pass up on the outside, that's something. I don't know. I mean maybe we can get the second too. I'm sure that's going to help out in the starting position overall. So I would like to try to get that. Keep gating, We keep getting closer each lap. So I feel like eventually we're going to get that spot. I think we're going to be able to. Nope. Oh yeah, we did barely at the line. With two to go. Okay, now we got second. Alright, we're good. Alright. On to the A main. Very, uh, very, I would say relatively straightforward, but now we're starting 20 from the main and could have started 15th if I just did everything right, but nope, I have to screw it up. I guess I'll be curious to see if I can gain more spots. I just can't believe how well uh, the other drivers in front of me and behind me in points are just going to qualify, like, top 10. Like, how am I supposed to am I supposed to compete with that at the moment? So, that is uh, a little bit annoying. Try to get a good launch off the corner, try to gain any spots. I feel like our car is top 15. I would so love to just get that top 10 like top ten finish just to get a different sponsor to get more money. But we suck so much ass that it just, just, it just never ceases to happen. So I'm just perpetually screwed at just having like the second highest tier. And that's quite annoying. Like, I don't even think I'm going to be able to get top 15 even. I'm going to try to get the 17th here on Carter. And it looks like we're going to be able to. We're about to go a lap down in five laps by the way. That's unbelievable. Maxed out engine, even with maxed out parts. I don't, man, am, I, am I ever just... Am I always going to just be bad here? I don't know. I'm kind of used to running like within the top 10. Then, then we come here, it's like not much difference. Maybe it's just more... Um, I don't know, suspension dependent? Or... I don't know. But... It took long enough, but we finally got the P17 spot. And that's a, you know, typical classic AI wreck, and we were the last car in lead lap, so we were pretty much guaranteed a 17th place finish no matter what. May be able to get bailed out on a better finish with that yellow too. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. But overall, what a, what a, what a way to throw away a good points finish after all that. Such a shame that the showcase races have to be like this difficult and this much harder than any other race. It gets quite annoying, so I don't know. There's not much more I can do right now with the car, other than drive better. But I feel like for the most part, I've been driving it, you know, pretty well overall. But I don't know. I I, I have no idea. I guess I'm just like the worst dirt racer on the entire YouTube platform or something because this isn't just a fucking cakewalk. But all right, we'll get the spot on P16. So all right, we did we did something. Let's try to get 15th here. It's kind of around the bottom, so we should be able to have a shot to try to clear him on the outside. Of course, I made contact because I have no skills. Somehow I cleared him. I, make that make sense? 
but he got by me. Alright, now we, we get a second chance to try to do something. Also, Cox is back here, so he choked too. So I think we might have just gotten ninth in points straight up. But I don't know how. That 05 car of Robbie Collins just casually 12th. But uh, Ricky Cox did not beat us in points. So we should, in theory, have ninth place locked up completely. Yes, we do. We got ninth locked up by four points. Which is our highest points finish position. Can't really complain about that. Good good, good stuff. I mean, once again, we're continuing to get better with each season. It just... Now it's like very very little like compared to last season and, and this one. Really like a four position increase. But hey, 10,000 for what? P16 of a finish? That's pretty good. I think that's our highest earnings thus far. So that's a new milestone. And that puts it a lot closer to at least unlocking the chassis portion. So... We're getting there. National Series now available. Ooh. No, too bad. Uh, I really don't feel like running that yet. Because I kind of just want to just gradually go up the ladder. I don't really feel like running the, the next big series to intentionally run bad. Then bank money on that to get local stuff. I feel like that's, it just feels like a, like a cheap way to do it. And it's just not my philosophy. So I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and make this series 400 parts. But, uh, we do get the new wingless 10, wing, wingless 410 sprint for national. I guess that's the only new one. Um, return to your office to advance your career. All right. All right. We got that unlocked. I like this but I think, this is going to be a nuclear take, but I think if the uh, the speed points required is bigger, then it's going to make people stay in those series like longer to grind it out. Which I feel like it should be more of an effort. It shouldn't take four seasons to even be this that, that far. It should be like, dare I say, uh, five times that amount. I don't know. But hey, we got it, at least. And everything's in good condition, so we can reuse it for the next race at Grant Park. And and we got our sponsor, which not really shocking there. We got new simp uh, documentation. I, I mean, my skills are undeniable. I may be undeniably bad. Uh, investment teams are so excited they are funding another team. Hey, I good, good on them. Uh, sure, we'll... We'll get that time. I'm not focused on it right now. That's for like part like 300 me to figure out. But uh, hey, we finished good in the standings. We got one top five, six top tens, and overall just top ten point finish. So it's a step up. At least it's nice to see that instead of just no progress at all. But yeah, just go back to the main menu. Fill out everything like before. Do I even need to show it? It's just happened too many damn times. Man, the gaps just... Do you want to finish top 15 or top 30? It's like, well, I could definitely do top 30. I could probably do top 15. Or a win! It's a pretty big net to cast, but we'll go with top 15 because that's more realistic. Wins are not even in the question yet. We got 42,000, so only 5,000 away to upgrading that. Well, actually less than 5,000. So after next race at Grant Park, we should be able to unlock the chassis portion. So that'll be exciting. And Grant Park's generally like a lot a lot harder of a track. So we're probably going to get like top 15 to top 20 again. So we'll just do what we can here. You know, I just want to get around the track normally. That didn't need to happen. Grant Park is just a very confusing track for me to figure out. Because you really think the outside line would work. Especially with the car having max engine upgrade. But not really. Maybe I'd need the other parts to make it work better. I don't know. I, I have no idea, but I, pff, we're just going to have to just get through it. This is like, it's like, uh, it's weird because like it has all the traits of something I should like. It's not an Elm Creek. The outside line does grip up and acts like it's supposed to, but it's just like I don't have any speed. So I'm just kind of stuck running the bottom, but that's not really fast either. But it is technically faster than running the high side. So, I can't really ever figure this track out. 
and it just baffles me. So I don't know. I'm just curious to get to everything at like level three with the the car, and to see if I can even compete still. Because if not, then this is going to be a really fucking sad series of never being able to win a race, never ever being able to win a championship, and the series is going to be where I run like a thousand races and lose even with the best stuff, and I'm just basically going to be like a scrub in this universe. Also, I'm not even fifth. I'm not even advanced to the fucking aiming. Like, what is this? Nothing's changed in difficulty, and I'm just fucking worse. So I have, I have no idea anymore. I don't, I, I got nothing. And it's just frustrating that with a fully, I, mean, I can't say fully, but like the highest level engine upgrade that I can get in the local series, and it's still not fast enough. And we still gotta do fucking B-Mains. I thought we'd be, we would be at least past this fucking point. I guess we're first, so I guess this should be just a very clear-cut, just dominating win. Thankfully, I could just edit all of that out then, because it's not gonna be very interesting. As long as I get through this first corner okay and nothing dumb happens. No, something dumb happened. Yeah, alright. Alright, it's gonna be a lot more interesting than I thought. Got nice, clear, clear second. Like, am I good? Alright, uh, I, I guess now we'll be okay. You know, we just can't have the race end with me just winning and nothing happening. It just, it just has to be a wreck. There has to be something fantastical, magical moment about it to just prolong this even more. Why can't this car be, like, at least competitive? I don't know. I like to really think that the engine upgrade, or, like, the engine upgrade would have been, like, the end-all be-all, but... It's kind of good that maybe everything else still kind of matters. Am I really about to lose a fucking B main because of that shit? Even though I had a big enough lead. Can I please get this back so I don't completely throw it out the window? Thank you. Nope, there's another car there. Alright. I'll just do it again, but... Alright. Alright, we got it. That was just a momentary scare. I can sure win B mains at this point, so... I don't know. Let's just hope we can just get a, a top 20 finish at this point. I thought we ran better here last year. We were running like 19th or like 18th or something. So I, I don't know. We just need people to explode. All right. We're just going to need people to explode to have a shot to get a top 18 finish or something. Because I don't know if we're going to have a lot more than that. It's confusing too because you would think the bomb lane would just be ideal. Because I, I, I can't run faster around there. But it seems like the top is still going to be ideal even though it's slower. I don't know. Make that make sense. Is it okay to use a tear-off now? I can't see anything, but I think comment section is going to get very upset about that. I don't know, but we're just going to keep her on the outside, I guess. I don't I don't understand it anymore. But then in the A main, now we're 18th. Now we're actually running where, we're, where I, I think we should. In fact, we're going to probably get 17th. Bit of an unconventional angle in the corner, but actually worked out nicely. I mean, top 15 might be possible. So, I still am under the belief that the Heat's are just way, way too hard versus the actual A main where it's a little bit easier. Because those heats, they are, there is something with the AI strength being way too high. Because then in the main, I can actually do stuff. I know, I hit someone there. You, you see that? I'm a fucking dirty driver. I just hit everyone every waking moment and should be fucking destroyed and sent into the, into the stratosphere for that comment. But did it affect his race? Did, did it did it destroy him? Did he flip over? I feel like I've been pretty decent with not plowing through people. I don't know. But we're P16. We're about to get 15th here, I think, as long as we just keep running outside. Oh, will will contact. I know I'm a bad driver. Can I clear him? I think we're actually going to be able to clear him. All right, this is going to be a Grant Park record because this is the highest we've ever ran. So, uh, this is surprisingly a step, a major step up. We might be able to get to 14th at, at this rate. As long as I, you know, hit the corners properly. This is definitely a long race for the first race of the season. So uh, we got a lot of time to figure out. And a lot of, you know, probable yellows for the AI to flip and stuff. Because that's just tradition for them at this point. That was a really good exit off that corner. I don't know if this is going to work going all the way down here. Just going to slide the track and hope for the best, but... I had a run, so I just kind of went with it. But we actually, no, I was going to say we gained a spot, but not quite. It was at least worth the, the try to make those passes. It looked cool in the moment. But P13 even might be possible, too. Like, as long as we just keep hitting our marks, 
should be able to run them down, so... It's promising, and we'll definitely have more than enough money after this race to get the, uh, the chassis upgrade. Which I'm hoping will do something. I did a lot of testing off camera, just kind of gauging, like, what the max strength of the car is for, like, Lime Land. It just took a bunch of research on that. I actually recorded a whole bunch of that as, like, a video. Maybe that'll be up as a separate video or something. I don't know. But I kind of want to see, and... It's still hard to gauge, just because it's probably factoring in, like, all the upgrades that, like, a career mode car would have, like, all five of them. And I'm only going to be going up as far as three for the local side of things, so... Even with the lap times I saw, it's probably still not, like, the, the best comparison, so it's, I don't know, it's really hard to, to gauge it. Also, we are having one hell of a battle for 15. I just cannot clear them, I cannot progress, I've just been kind of stuck here. Well, they tried to wreck, but it wasn't good enough, clearly. I actually gained a spot there. Well, maybe not. It's good stuff. Good battle. Like, no real problems there. At least I'm not just by myself in, like, No Man's Land. There's, like, always some kind of action. For the, relatively for the most part. So I'm just trying to do something just to... I don't know. Somebody's got to figure out who wants what position. Because, I mean, this is just... I'm not going to have the skill level to maintain this consistency long enough. I don't even know why I'm going down here. It's not It's not going to work. This... Okay, what's the last? I forgot we were lapped down, so... <laughs> Alright, you know, fine, 15th. That's where we're probably running for much of that race anyways. Well, with it being the first race, I mean, points aren't going to matter a whole lot. We ran way better than I expected, so... Three, three positions better, to be honest, and uh, 7,000, so... That is definitely enough to unlock the chassis section, so... Once again, we're just one step closer. Well, we gotta repair the tires and suspension first, but that clearly shouldn't... It shouldn't cost up to the point where we can't afford the chassis thing after this race. And we got our sponsor goal, so hey, we accomplished that at least. And after that will be, uh... Kokomo, which... I think we usually do a lot better there than... Than, uh, Grant Park, so we should have a decent shot there. We'll go to top 15 again, just because... That's the most realistic one we can get. We get a new sponsor agent, which... I feel like it's the same sponsor bonus and incentive bonus. I'll have to look and compare. So, sponsor bonus is 8. And the other one's 10. So, this is kind of like a flip of the other one. Ugh. I don't... Uh, should it matter? It... Sponsor bonus, incentive bonus. Uh, I don't know what would be more important here. Uh, incentive. You know what, we're just going to leave it as is for now, because... Screw it. <laughs> uh, we'll just get the chance. Uh, the, the car part stuff. Let's repair the tires and suspension. And we should be... Yeah, definitely we'll have more than enough to unlock it. So, we're here. Finally, another step. And we'll have at least 4,000-something... 3,000 something to have uh, left over and next parts 4,800 so good to know not much in performance but I'm assuming upgrade number two is where it really jumps kind of like the same logic as like the engine one was so there we go that's slightly better we'll see how much that improves it over time Maybe it's better just to save up and then get the level, like, the upgrade to one. But I think you still have to upgrade them, like, one at a time. So I don't even know if it really matters. I don't know. I guess I'll have to find out. Maybe I'll try that. I don't know. Might as well. <laughs> Either way, I'm done. This is... I, I rambled out way too long. I will see you all next episode. And, uh, yeah. See you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.